He had an interview last night with uh, the shameful, despicable, used to be sane Lou Dobbs, who now has a new show on the My Pillow Dudes uh, channel. That's called Really Crazy after Lou got fired from Fox Business. Listen to what Trump said when it came to what he wants to happen to a booming economy right now. What he wants to happen in the next 12 months. We have an economy that's incredible. We have an economy that's so fragile. And the only reason it's running now is it's running off the fumes of what we did, what the Trump administration, it's just running off the fumes. And when there's a crash, I hope it's gonna be during this next 12 months because I don't wanna be Herbert Hoover. The one president, I just don't wanna be Herbert Hoover. He actually said, man, can this economy please crash? in the next 12 months so it doesn't happen when I'm president. Here's what I crack up about Randy. So he talks about how it's running on the fumes of him. Dude, Obama handed you a great economy. You tanked it. Then of course, when COVID hit, his reaction was abysmal. We've been digging out of that particular grave. But the fact that anybody would consider, I mean, th this is how nut, this is how nutty and crazy the Republican Party has become. This man has mocked John McCain, who had his shoulders and arms broken as a POW. He is saying, I hope the economy tanks. So damn all y'all in your 401ks and your jobs and everything, please tank before uh, I get in there because I don't want to have to deal with it. All of this is disqualifying before Republicans. Hey, he's great. He's a maniacal egomaniac, and he only cares about himself. He only cares about himself, and he has always made that clear. And what just continues to boggle my mind is that there are so many people who praise him as he praises himself. He has no regard for America. He doesn't care about this country. He cares about himself. And it is terrifying that they we have we're actually having hearings to say, can this man get away with anything? I mean, they, that, that is what they're arguing. And people are not alarmed that this man wants the right to basically do whatever the heck he wants to do and not in any way face any charges. If that doesn't frighten people, I don't know what's wrong with them. I mean, let me tell you something. I, I would love to have somebody love me the way that. That, that people love that man because it's just blind love. Like he could do whatever and they still care. I mean, just the simple fact that they look at his hair, that should make him done. But when he speaks and he uses that word incredible so much, does he have, I mean, his vocabulary is incredibly limited because incredible is, he uses it in every instance. And he just makes me sick. He just makes me absolutely sick. But, and, but, and, and, but, and here's the deal. I mean, and, and this is why I say, Mustafa, to any fool who says, yeah, I ain't going to vote. I don't like what's going on. That's the fool who Republicans want in huge numbers. And that is a danger to everyone. Yes. Well, especially to our folks. You know, we got to make sure, one, that we're reading, and two, that we're looking at the real numbers that are out there. When you have someone who says, that they would like to have the economy crash by something like that. And of course, we know it's our communities. We know that he's not great at fiscal policy. He's not good at economic policy. All you have to do is take a look at the difference between this administration and the former administration. This administration has created significantly more jobs even after coming out of COVID. So, you know, we just got to really get strategic, but we also got to educate ourselves on these folks who continue to want our vote and just figure out who is it who actually will be more beneficial to our community. Not by any means will they ever be perfect. And we have to continue to push them. But this man would be devastating for our community. If we think that food prices are high now, allow the economy to crash. What do you think is going to happen? If you're having a hard time being able to find a place to live, to either be able to buy a house or even to be able to find an apartment. What do you think is gonna happen if the economy crashes? If you're having a difficult time and paying, if you still have student loans or even sending your kids to a school, then what do you think is gonna happen if the economy crashes? So we just need to use our common sense uh, when we're making these decisions.